welcome to Minicom Tutorials. Today I'm going to provide you with the best solution to all your data reading or importation problems in R or R Studio. Basically, problems relating to data importation or reading in R have to do with sometimes the R version that you are using. For example, if you would like to know your R version is simple, usually when you uh, open R on the console, you see your R version here. So sometimes the commands differ. I just realized that like in the latest version, which is the June 2020 version, I just realized that read or CSV is much more simpler to use this time around. You just write read or CSV and it will import the data straight away in the form of a data frame with uh, tab separations or like separated with spaces, you know. But with uh, in the the old versions like 2019 and the rest, if you should use read or CSV, you have to add other things like separation is equal to comma and all of that. You see, so there are always changes in R because R is a is an open uh, source software. We are all aware of that. So one of the major problems, and if you would like to know your R version, is simple. You simply click on help. You on top here, you just click on help and then you go down and click on about and it will give you your R version. I'm using the latest version, which is the June 2020 version. So without wasting my time, apart from the R version issue, another, or what should I say, some of the most recurrent problems in importing data into R have to do with false missing values. That is, for instance, when you try to import data into R, it will tell you that there are some missing values. Like, you, I would show you how it occurs. It, it can give you a whole column that will be full of missing values. Or sometimes it will just, you realize that the, in actual sense, within your original data, maybe Excel file or Excel, yeah, there are no missing values. Meanwhile, R introduces some missing values. So I'll show you how to solve that problem. That actually have to do with um your cell format you know when you look at the format of the cells in excel can cause this problem especially when you download files from the internet uh, it, it, to me it, it happens regularly this way each time i download an excel file from the internet and i try to read it into r this happens or sometimes when i receive an excel file uh, through mail like from when I download something from my Gmail or whatever, my email address, I, I have sometimes because the 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 cell format of this, the cell format of your Excel file gets messed up or something like that. So I'll show you how to resolve it, how to resolve the problems of false uh, or if you want pseudo and or missing values in your data. The other problem has to do with embedded nulls. Sometimes it just gives you this error that Im of embedded nulls. I will show you how to resolve it. The last one has to do with encoding error, or where should I say file encoding. By default, uh, we, we, we usually like, we, I will show you the details. Let me not speak that much. So let's start. Let's try to solve the first problem that has to do with false and uh, in other words, pseudo and or pseudo missing values or false missing values so the example that i will use i'll try to download something from the internet and like an excel file from the internet and we'll try to import it and i'll show you this problem let's assume it's no it's from the internet you can even have it you can maybe i don't know why it occurs but we should know that it's related to the cell format of your excel file so let me i'll try to download this file here from the what we call the xls stats was website where we can you know we download different add-ins for excel to perform different tasks so like this file is actually for t-test you know so i'll just try to download it here from this on by clicking here so if i click here then i'll open the excel file straight away so I'll try to open this file. And as you can see, let me enable 
okay all right so let me go to data and this is the data set so assuming we want to import this data set into r what are we supposed to do we simply have to save it on a desktop in a form of uh, what do we call it in a form of a csv file and then read it into r so without wasting my time let's do that so to save this in the form of a csv file you simply click here as usual you have to click on file so you click on file then you click on save as you click on save as then we can put it on the desktop and let's name it maybe i don't know what we should call it let's call it false nr or false missing values false missing values okay false nr let's put it that way then we'll save our file in the form of csv csv so let me save it say okay yes and it's done okay so we have our csv file here that we named false nr so let's try to import this into r how do we do it we simply click right click on the file as it is we right click on it and we click on properties and we click on properties then we simply click on security so we click on security and then after clicking on security you copy the file extension the full file extension see it is selected as and then you copy it either you control c or you right click and copy it's the same thing so let's copy it you right click after select okay now we get back to our r or r studio whichever that you are using now to do the importation i'll show you the error that or the the, the false value that it will introduce and now i'll show you how to correct it so to import it we use the read dot csv command um, preferably let's name our data set data so and then read dot csv into brackets let's paste this here and then we change this okay so I'll try to execute this to import the data sets. It hasn't given us any error, so it means the importation is done. Let's print it to show the data. Print the brackets data. If I should execute this, look at what I'm talking about. As you can see in the original file as you can see let me try to enlarge it this is the original file that we just downloaded from the internet and we have just two variables or two columns we have a column for the student and we have the a column for the student's average we don't have any pseudo i mean uh, pseudo missing values anywhere you know i don't know why it introduced you see that we have a column of missing values x here is understandable because we haven't written anything for the this column we haven't given it a title it's normal that x attributes x to read that's okay i mean x r attributes x to read that's okay but where from this new column sometimes it happens it may not happen this way you may realize that sometimes under here or somewhere within your data set there are some missing values meanwhile on the actual worksheet there's there are no missing values so how do we solve this problem you see the, and on the actual worksheet there are no missing values but here it's telling us that there are missing values so to solve this problem i will show you how to do it you as i told you earlier on that it, this is due to it's, it's actually related to the cell format you see when we talk about the cell format for example if i click, click here and i click on cell format you see it gives us the format of the cell but sometimes it gets messed up messed up i mean when we download it especially from the internet 
or whatever reason i don't know sometimes even if it's not from yes okay so how do we deal with these false missing values in case it happens let me show you how to do it you simply have to copy your data from the excel like the, the this the from the current worksheet you simply copy it. you select the whole of the data to do that you click come here you see this box here you just click and select everything you right click and collect click on copy now you open a new worksheet and now you paste what you have copied and then the paste option is very very important here on in the new worksheet when you have to paste you select uh, you paste in the form of values so you right click and then you select paste see we have several paste options you have to select this one values one two three something like that so after pasting in values i think it's, we are true to go now we will have to save the file again you see we will now save it and then try to import again so let me i'm trying to make the data set more visible and clear okay so let's save this new data set we just this the we just copied the original data set and we are saving it here in the form of values so we now click on file and save it again on the desk on the desktop this time around we can give it it's still the same remember to save it in the csv again but in order to differentiate this one we can just put one here to, to differentiate it from the existing csv file so we can say we just add one to it say okay and yes and we are we are done now let's go to the desktop and try to read this new data set here it is so as usual you have to right click on it you know you right click on it and then you click on properties when you click on properties you click on security and then you copy the file extension okay right click copy and then get back to your ROR studio and then we try to read the, the data again so let's use this time we can name it maybe to differentiate from what we had already you can say data one then we say read dot csv into brackets we just paste this one here and close here change this okay now let's try to import this and see whether the problem will be solved or not why has it given me an error sorry i didn't write the command well okay so it's okay now let's print the new data set so as usual print to brackets data one if i should execute this see it has disappeared we don't have those false values again we just have our original data set we don't have these false and uh or missing values it's okay now so this is how we solve the first problem that has to do it um what do we call it that have that have to do with missing values or false missing values for that matter i hope you enjoyed this video please subscribe to watch this the the second problem that has to do with embedded the second and the third problems that have to do with embedded uh, nulls and then what do we call it the file encoding problems please subscribe and see you in the next video. I'm trying to make the video short.